da 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 Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show. And welcome to another episode of an ink review. Today, we are looking at an ink from Robert Oster, Sydney Darling Harbor. Thanks go out to Gary and Kathy Scott for providing the sample for this review. And this is what it looks like. It is a greenish, a murky green color. Very nice. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Here is our ink splotch. Look at the, all of that cool color going on. Wow, that's fantastic. Here is our ink swatch that will go to inkswatch.com later on today. And here is our toilet paper chromatography. <clears throat> now, here's very what's very interesting. There's like a red or a dark shade going on here, and then there's even a darker shade, and then there's a green, and then right on the edge there's like a bluish tone going on. So that is really cool. We'll take a look at these in just a minute. But first, the paper review. This is the Pen and Gear Memo book from Walmart.com. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Birmingham Pen Company, 52 GSM Tomoy River paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use back side of this paper. Rhodia dot pad, 80 GSM. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use back side of this paper. Fabriano Eco Qua, 85 GSM. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use back side of this paper. <clears throat> Ayush 100 GSM heavyweight paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use back side of this paper. CVS caliber notebook paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use back side of this paper. Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use back side of this paper. Lamy booklet, 90 GSM. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use back side of this paper. Exceed, 100 GSM heavyweight paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use back side of this paper. The Premier Premium Journal from the 99 cent store. No feathering. A little bit of bleeding. A little bit of ghosting. I might not use the back side of this paper. Unison Composition Book from Target.com for 50 cents. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the backside of this paper. Mead Wide Ruled Notebook Paper. It does look like it's trying to feather. And it bled through the page. I would not use the backside of this paper. HP Premium 32 pound copy paper. Does look like it's feathering. Didn't bleed through the page. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Beifang Calligraphy Practice Paper. Feathered like a chicken. Bled through the page. I would not use the back side of this paper. Alright, this is Robert Oster, Sydney Darling Harbor, next to Graf Vom Fiber Costell Olive Green. The Birmingham Pen Company Cooked Spinach, Ver uh, Jerbon Vert de Grease, Diamond Green Black, Colorverse Able, 
Monteverde, California Teal, Diamond Golden Ivy, Blackstone Daintree Green, Monteverde Jade Noir, Noodler's Grun Green Cactus, Jane Davenport Mermaid Tail, <coughs> Daintree Green Sparkle, Monteverde Key Lime Pie, Diamine Calligraphy Passion, Diamine Umber Green, Twisby Emerald Green, Freedom of the Starry Skies Green, Ackerman Number 27, <clears throat> Jerbon Encre Larie Sauvage, Monteverde Yosemite Green, Diatromentus Document Green, Colorverse Supernatural, Monteverde Ice Cookie, Jerbon Emerald of Chavour, Ferris Wheel Press Bluegrass Velvet, Diamine Soft Mint, Seats Crow's Neck Palm Green, Diamine Teal, Papier Plume, Coraline in My Mind, Colorverse Gravity Wave, and Diamine Salamander. What did you guys think of today's ink? Are you guys looking for a murky green? Let me know in the comment section below. That is all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed that one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the little bell. Make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back very soon with another video. So take care until then. Okay, love you. Bye.